Okay, this is how you are going to um, find a picture and create a motivational meme. So I'm going to start at library and go to internet sites and go down to web tools. On the web tools page, you're going to find big, huge labs. And choose motivator. It's right up here at the top. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is find um, a picture that matches your uh, your meme. So if I want to do um, mine on spring break, I'm going to show you how to find those copyright friendly images that you can use in your meme. So once again, I'm going to go back to the libraries page. I'm going to click on internet sites. This time I'm going to go to library skills at the top. And I have some links on here that you can use to find copyright friendly images. These are places you can go to find Creative Commons images. Uh, Wikimedia Commons is a pretty good place to go. Public domain means that you don't have to cite your source, but you probably want to anyway, just so we know that you didn't snitch it off of Google Images. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go to public domain pictures, and I can search for what I'm looking for here. And I have lots of different scenes to choose from. That looks like a nice one right there. So I'm going to click on that picture to make it bigger. If you copy the thumbnail, it'll be greeny later on. So make sure you open the, up the full picture. From here, you're going to do a two finger click on your Chromebook. Save image as. And make sure that you've clicked on Google Drive. Down here, it's going to put, give you the name of the image. This JPG needs to stay on the end of it or else it won't work with um, the Motivator um, app. So this one's called Sandy Beach. I want to remember that. I'm going to click Save. And I can close this window. And I'm going to go back to Big Huge Labs. And now I'm ready to choose my file. So yours might show up right here at the top. I have a thousand things in my Google Drive. So I'm going to use the search feature right here. And the first word was beach. So when I type that in, right here is my picture right at the top. So I'm going to click on my picture. And yes, that's the one I want. I'm going to click open. And I can see that my image is uploaded right here. So now I'm going to put my title in. So my title, this is not a motivational quote. This is just to show you how to use the tool. My title is Spring Break. I can change the text underneath. You might want to play around with this a little bit. Let's try. I'm going to use fantasy for the title. And then my motivational text is going to be the small print that shows up underneath. So I'm just going to write chillax it. And I'm going to change this one. Let's see what sci-fi looks like. <laughs> it's probably going to look really weird. Okay, so um, you can go back and click on some of these and play around and see how it affects your image. This is going to give a line border around your image right here. See this right now is on single. You can change the title and the border here. You can talk to me about these codes in a minute. Um, or your text here, your background color here. So I want it to be um, blue to match the color, color of the ocean. And then click Create. So here is my image. Oh, so you can see here's my fantasy text. 
and here's my um and there's i can't remember what the other one was and here's the other text how it looks a little bit different if you're not happy with that so i'm looking at this and this blue is it's too blue i don't want it to be that blue i'm going to click to edit and then everything else will stay there and i'm just going to change my background image my background color um, this might be too blue as well, but let's try it. Create. Yeah, I'm, I'm not real crazy about that one either, but I'm going to leave it there for now so I can show you how to download this image to your Google file. So you're going to just hit the next button, download. Now over here, you need to click on show in folder. You have to be pretty quick about that because that image will fade away. So here's my picture. I'm just going to click it and grab it and drag it right over into my Google Drive. You can see how everything pops up there. And there it is. Now it is in my Google Drive.